we've just learned the death toll from Tuesday's storm has doubled, bringing the total people dead to four. City officials say two people in San Francisco were hospitalized Tuesday afternoon after they were hurt from two separate storm-related incidents. They did not survive their injuries. We are working to get more details on what happened and have reached out to police to get more information. And we do know the city received reports of over 700 fallen trees following the storm. And two other people were killed after trees fell on top of them. One incident happening in Walnut Creek. Crown Force Michael Thomas has that story. I'm standing where Olympic Boulevard and Pleasant Hill Road meet. Now, this is just about a mile or so from where a tree fell yesterday, killing a person. Take a look. Today, there are multiple large trees that are all continuously down. In fact, they've actually closed down all of the eastbound lanes of Olympic Boulevard. Yesterday's incident involved a similar tree. This footage that you're looking at is from the scene where Costa County fire officials say a passenger of the car died. Now, the car was traveling down Stanley Dollar when a large tree fell, landing on the car causing minor injuries to the driver and killing the passenger. Now, these large trees are also causing power outages in the area. PG&E is reporting that the area has anywhere between 500 and 4,900 outages. As to when these trees will start to be cleaned up, well, we don't know. I did speak with PG&E representative who says there's really no ETA. And as to the person who passed away, we're still waiting for more information from officials. As we get that, we'll continue to keep you updated. In Walnut Creek, Michael Thomas. Crown News. Thank you. Meanwhile, one person in Portola Valley is dead after a tree fell on top of their car. Officials say one of these large eucalyptus trees, you can see them right there, came crashing down on top of a plumbing van. This happened as the van was heading eastbound on Alpine Road just west of Interstate 280. Emergency responders worked for more than 20 minutes to get to the driver. This was an unpredictable kind of a, a, a fluke occurrence, and, and there's nothing we can do safety-wise to, to advise anything against it. The CHP says incidents like this one are the reason they're urging people to stay at home and off the roadways during bad storms.